Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about trackpad slash touchpad settings that you need to set up in Windows 11, specifically for devices that have haptic feedback on the trackpads or like a Bluetooth keyboard like this one uh, from Renacer. This is the Pelican, uh, Pelican keyboard K8, and the trackpad is clicky. but you have to actually press pretty hard and a lot of keyboards are like this and so i have mine set up a very specific way let's jump in right now trying to go here to settings i have the settings right here and what you can actually do is you can just press the windows key and start typing the word touchpad we're going to go touchpad settings this is in bluetooth and devices down here touchpad uh, we're going to look at taps, taps, tap with a single finger to single click. You need that set up. Make sure that that is there. I'm going to set mine to medium sensitivity so I'm not accidentally triggering things. Tap with two fingers to right click. If you are scrolling with two fingers on your trackpad and accidentally clicking, uh, sending a right click, you can disable this. This is not a bad idea to do. And then the one that I think is most important is tap twice and drag to multi-select. This is very important because if you open up something here, you want to drag something. If you don't have this enabled, then when you double click, double tap, you have to double click. You have to click and hold and drag and you won't be able to drag this to the corners of the screen without doing some uh, really fancy footwork with your fingers. So, and I, <laughs> I'm not going to say it differently than that. All right, those are the two settings that you need to have set up. I think this is a very um, non-understood aspect to Windows that makes a huge difference in how comfortable it is to use the trackpad. Uh, if you don't have a mouse, this is very difficult with these settings turned off. Now I have a couple extra settings here that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click on advanced gestures. And what I want you to see here, shift, win, uh, left windows and Z. So when I do a three finger tap, what that does is that brings up the tablet pro artist pad for me. Woo -hoo! That is shift windows key and Z. If you have the pen tool and the tablet pro touch software installed, this will bring up this little pad on the side, which is a godsend. So here, if I click on these buttons, you can see I have a lot of different options, modifiers, um, windows, uh, dictation, copy, paste, delete, all the type of stuff. And it's customizable. All right, the next thing here, shift left windows, just windows and A. So if I tap here, four fingers, that is going to switch the size of the artist pad. This is very useful for me specifically. Swipe up. I have this set to show this right here. This switches the different modes here of Tablet Pro. It, it will actually pulls up the pen tool window here. Swipe up task view, swipe down, show desktop. Uh, task view swipe up is going to show me this task view right here uh, swipe left and right does the native uh, switching applications all right you guys that is a quick overview of the touchpad the advanced gestures inside of windows 11 make sure you adjust these right now and subscribe to this video if you use uh, your hands and Windows 11, like if you use touch or stylus, this is a great channel for you. So subscribe right now.